Looking for fast, cheap, and reliable coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuckReserve.com. Head over to MuckReserve.com. They're awesome to work with. They got super cheap, fast, and reliable coins. Make sure you use code Poodle at checkout for an additional 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over what you need to be doing in Madden 21 right now, guys. Now, as this video usually goes, it's kind of a culmination of things I'm going to be focusing on, looking at, and kind of undoing at this time period. Now, we are in what I like to call Madden Limbo. Madden Limbo is our period of time Madden where things are kind of stagnant. So, we just kind of have a huge promo, right? So, everyone's, you know, you're balling, you're going through it. Momentum's that high. We're going through the promo, and then bam, it ended. Streams come back. No content. Just updates. And now we have no whereabouts of a promo, and they even said that some things are a week away. So, now we're mad in limbo. It's a period of time where there's not too much to do, at least on the surface. You think there's nothing to do. You don't know if you want to auction. You don't know if you should be doing sets. You kind of just sit there. And some people just don't play for that week until the next part of the promo will start releasing. Or the next new, you know, the next new wave of content starts releasing. So, this is the period of time that we are in Madden, so it's important to always know what you should be doing. So, let's go through a good more to Madden pack. We get a power up here. Leonard Fournette power up, that's kind of trash. Um, Alright, so let's get out of this. So guys, before we get into today's video and go over what you should be doing right now, make sure down below, hit that subscribe button, turn on that new bell, join the family, like the video, and of course, you guys need coins, head over to my reserve and use code Poodle for 30% off your order. So, moving on from that, here's the deal. Right now, guys, as you do know, a lot of solos that were here for Zero Chill are going to be a bit different and gone, right? That's the difference. So, it's, 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 what was a bit different about this promo is that these solos didn't stay. Years past, one of the recommendations I would give would be to play the solos after the promos ended and get your rewards. They took, they took away the solos because the rewards were Chill Factor rewards and stuff like that, so I guess that couldn't really stay. So, if you missed out on Zero Chill rewards... You missed out on them for good, and that's what's different about this. So, you can't go back and play them. You can't go get that stuff. You just essentially missed out. Which I think was very dumb of them, personally. They should have just changed it from Chill Factor to just Solo Rewards. I think that was dumb of them, because for this reason and one reason only, people got mad in for Christmas. Some people got mad in, like, you know, like, they see their family, like, a week after Christmas, or family, friends, maybe they got mad as a gift. They hop on here, and those would have been great free players to get. But now, thanks to this, they cannot get that, which really does suck for a lot of people. But moving on, as far as what you should be doing right now, if you guys have solos, right, like right now, solos keep you distracted. What solos on this list are good, right? As of now, the only solos I would recommend would be getting your 50 ones done. Like, if you're behind on 50, that's about the only ones I would recommend getting done. And then occasionally, guys, always be checking your legend solos weekly. Because every week, whenever we get new legends, if they drop a good enough legend, you can go do their solo real quick, get their power up, and easily make some coins. Like, I remember back in prior Maddens or even recently, let's say Deion Sanders got a good legend card. You went and played a solo, you did halfback dive, you did, um, you know how it's called, two clock, and you can get that game done in under 10 minutes. You hop out of here and you put him on the block and get it for like 20k. You could sell his power for 20k, and then like an hour, you can buy it back for like 4 to 5. And you just made 15k easy plus a solo 1k. It's not a ton, but it's just easy coins, you know what I mean? So, solos definitely aren't the move right now, but if you were going to be playing them, it's definitely catching up on your 50 solos or trying to make coins off Legend solos. Now, I highly recommend everyone plays Weekend League this weekend, and the reason for that specifically is that Weekend League is going to be an open Weekend League for everyone. Now, like I told you guys, the thing in Weekend League, though, yes, you may not win a lot. You may, you may win a lot, you may not win a lot, but the difference is for Weekend League is that the rewards... Are going to be there regardless no matter how many wins you get right there's gonna be some kind of reward for you now the issue is i can't show you exactly the weekly rewards to a t specifically because you know it's not open right now but weekly rewards are simple you get up to 15 to 20 wins like a lot, a lot of people don't play weekly even when they're good at the game and they don't realize how easy it is to just go in and hop on you know yes game the game has some issues you could play it on current gen if you did want to um if it seems that's easier for you but the thing with Weekend League, it's open. So you could be, let's say your team's not that great, you're not that great at Madden. You play all 25 games, and you have at least chance of like two to three lagouts. It could result in wins. You have a few games where you might hop in, and you might score very fast, and they might think that you're really good, even if you're not. And Or they don't have time, or they got to go out to dinner, or their girlfriend needs them, or their wife needs them, and then you could, they quit, right? That happens a lot. I'm playing, the guy's beating me up 7 nothing in the first, and he quits. 
he pauses for a minute, he quits, he has something to do. That, that, those are likely things that do end up happening in life, especially in this game. So you could easily pull away, no matter how bad you are, three to five wins, which isn't a ton, you know, it might only be 15k in a pack, but it's still something, and it's some experience, and it's some milestones for game wins. And then if you're decent at the game, like you're just decent, you're going to get those wins plus a few others, and then the first 10 games is usually pretty easy. Maybe you get 10 wins. Again, maybe that's like 30k and some packs. Now, if you get lucky and you play even better, 15 wins. And then you're cooking with something. Like, obviously, we can leave rewards are insane. But in a week when we have nothing else, the best thing to do is to distract yourself with the in-game modes that are available. And it is open this week, which means you don't have to play the knockout. Now, the knockout tournament, when you do have to win, like, three to four games in a row to get qualified. For weekend league, a lot of people would struggle with that. Now, you don't have to. Then There's no more knockout league this week. It's going to be purely just entering. Now, the last thing I would recommend in terms of, like, doing right now, personally, would be... Looking at your team, self-evaluating, and moving on. Here's the thing I like to do before promos. I'm going to go over this in depth here. Go over to the auction block. Well, for you guys, go to your teams. But on the auction block, I'm going to do this. You're going to go to your teams, and you're going to reevaluate real quick. So let's say right now, at center, you have Kevin Mawai. You're going to check. So you're going to go on your team one by one and be like, how much Kevin Mawai go for? He goes for 300k, just about. And rising, it seems like. So let's look at this. Is a promo in the future going to replace Kevin Mawai? Playoff promo. Probably not. How about Team of the Year? Team of the Year will have a car, but probably 96. Kevin Mawai will probably have a safe spot and price point for a decent amount of time. I'll keep Kevin Mawai. Then you go to Barry Sanders. 330k. Decent price. Will he be replaced by Team of the Year playoffs? No. No running back will have the agility and change of direction in modern day. In the Super Bowl promo or the team of the year. No, no one's going to have that. So, if you're rocking with Barry, you're probably safe there too. And he comes to Vic. Is there going to be a quarterback that out? Because like, you have Vic on your team. Vic goes right now for approximately 461k. Will a quarterback be dropped? Now, the point of what you're doing here is pretty much like you look at your team as like a whole, a whole, a whole factory. And you're picking out the workers that can be replaced. Because you don't want to be overpaying them. So again, so like let's say you have, I don't know what's a good example here specifically, I have to get out of here, but for Michael Vick at this specific point, will there be another quarterback with Team of the Year playoff that has above 95 speed? No. So if you like a running quarterback, Vick's retaining value. That's always the beauty of a guy like Vick, he will retain his value for that simple reason. Same thing with Lawrence Taylor. No one's replacing him. Same thing with Moss. All these 50 players seem to be irreplaceable, in, at least in the near future. Now, you look at a guy like Rich Gannon. Pretty high price point. Will he be replaced? Yes. He has a high price point, and is, are there guys that can replace him? Yes. Team of the year could very well give us maybe, let's just say a Russell Wilson. That's very similar. We could get, we won't get another Pat Mahomes. But we do have a current Pat Mahomes. We, don't, we won't get another one, but there will be some playoff quarterbacks. It could be a Steve Young. Steve Young would be an upgrade on this rich game, although he would be an improviser. But that is the point of how that could work. These players could be easily changed, and the second they get a player that could replace them, their price dies down. A team of the year tight end. We could get maybe, I'm not sure if it would be Darren Waller or if it would be Travis Kelsey. Let's say it's Darren Waller because Travis Kelsey just got a card. Darren Waller could very well get at 93 speed and plow it up for 94. Suddenly, it doesn't matter what Tony Gonzalez's stats are. Darren Waller now is the fastest tight end in the game. Tony Gonzalez will easily go from about 400, 500k to easily 300 in a heartbeat because of that. So you realize Tony Gonzalez isn't long term on your team. And that's just how that's going to work. Now, these cards are some of the best cards in the game, so it's hard to do it here specifically. Bo Jackson, will he be replaced soon? Probably not, but that price is way too high. I can't comfortably hold on to Bo Jackson for long. I, I don't think you guys should be able to hold him comfortably for 900k. You sell that car because the instant, even with Team of the Year, the thing is, a price like that doesn't have to be replaced, right? So, like, a 400k card, a 300k card like Barry, they have to literally be hand-replaced for their price to get killed. A 900k card, literally all it needs is the marketing to have a tick, an uptick in anything, or, or new new players, like a new playoff promo. If people get interested in that and they want coins for some new playoff cards, they will sell their bows. And, you won't, and you're not going to be the only one selling your bows. A lot of people will be selling their bows. So, I don't know. I can't really recommend that one. I can't recommend holding on to him. Deion Sanders will not be replaced that soon. 
but he is kind of expensive. Now, you're the one we're worrying about. Maybe some of the lower cards as well. Some of the lower cards are guys like Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis will be replaced very soon. Linebackers are already faster than him. It's not going to last too long. And all these players have been replaced, so I would only go to the high price point ones like Derrick Henry, been replaced. You want to be selling him. He's not the fastest. He's not the strongest. He's none of the above. He sells a decent price. You probably want to be moving him. Joe Thomas is good, but Team of the Year will replace him. So if he's 300K, definitely Calvin Ridley and Joe Thomas will be replaced by Team of the Year, so definitely do not hold on to them. Team of the Year is within the next week and a half, two weeks, so Joe Thomas will be replaced. We'll get a 96 overall left tackle. Calvin Johnson will not be replaced by Team of the Year because Calvin's a unique card. He can't really be replaced. There's going to always be a market for Calvin's height. But, you know, we have Metcalf as well. J.J. Wall will be replaced by Team of the Year. So will McCaffrey. So will Michael Thomas. Sean Taylor will not be replaced because you're not going to get that height, speed, hit power, zone, and man all in the same card out of modern Team of the Year because we get rid of getting guys like Devin McCourty who are too slow for all that stuff, usually. But you never know. They've been a lot better at giving cards this year. And then, of course, let's see. We have Larry Allen. Should be good, but he's going to be replaced by Team of the Year. But again, he's a high price, actually. Maybe you move on from him. You pick up the Team of the Year left guard. And Team of the Year cards end up being super cheap. Like, left guards will be like 300K as well for 96s. But guys, you guys get the point. I've been wrapped up the video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're into the channel, subscribe, like, comment down below, and turn on that notification bell. Hopefully, you, you guys, you can pretty much just use this formula I've been giving you and just use it for just about everything. But that's about it. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.